Hey guys, uh, I'm Rayhana and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use uh, view binding in activity, fragment, adapter and so on. Let's start. Okay, uh, here I have uh, a new project and uh, first of all we start uh, adding this feature in build gradle file for a project here we should yes and then rebinding yeah true and second if everything is okay uh, the project should successfully yes and sync it without an error and now uh, we can use view bonding in everything uh, i mean in activity fragment adapter okay let's start first of all we need a uh, variable yes bonding okay if uh, your sync view binding feature uh, successfully you should see something like that for activity for fragment for some xml uh, it depends on uh, your activity uh, i mean it depends on your activity fragment and uh, xml file name Okay, uh, now I'm in main activity, so select this one. Okay, and now I should edit this line. Yes, inflate. That's it. And now here, I should add something like that. For activity, it's finished. Okay. How we can use it? Okay. First of all, I should add bonding and then uh, with ID of the object, we can access it. Uh, here, in my uh, activity main XML, I have a text view and I try to set ID for that. For example, TV, hello, okay. And with that, I can access it with bonding. TV, you can see it. For example, I want to change text of it, okay. Uh, for example, hello, Android Geek. Okay, let's start to see it change or not. Okay. Yes, uh, you can see our text view changed. And uh, with this way, we can access all of our objects in our XML. And there is another way for if you have a lot of object in your xml uh, it doesn't need uh, to adding binding uh, in a start of our uh, object a simple way is binding use binding that apply and now we can use all of your object inside it without pointing and it's so uh, easy way for that I run it again you can see yes okay <clears throat> yes run it without problem Okay, uh, here 
We work on main activity, I mean, we work on activity, bonding, and now let's start for working on fragments. Okay, we have uh, here we have a simple fragment, and uh, as we created variable for activity, we need something like that for fragments. So create variable okay pointing yes you can see this name this name is related to my current fragment okay in here I need to add this line fragment pointing yes and inflator and container and false and the last step at this one bonding the root is done and here I can access to my all object and uh, if I have something in my XML. Uh, let's check it. What I have, yeah, I have a uh, text view. I assign, okay, I assign a sample ID, and then here, with binding, I can access it. Here, you can see it. And I can do everything that we want. Yes, so simple and so useful. And also, we can use binding that apply for all of objects. And uh, this way, and my idea is a better way and is easy way to use binding. You know, we can use it something like that. And prevent to repeat bonding dot bonding dot and it's great okay it's done and the next step we can set bonding for adapter here uh, I have uh, a sample adapter here uh, that you can see I use uh, find view of my ID and I try to change it, change it to a view bonding. And here a sample model, and also I have um, a XML for each row of my uh, recycler view. Okay. Here, as I uh, created a variable for my fragment and uh, activity, uh, also I need here to create a variable okay you can see this one this one is related to my item row xml and i should choose this one and you can see related a name uh, for your project okay here, binding item inflate, inflator, parent, and false. Okay, and here I just need to call binding without root because uh, we added root somewhere else. I will show you. Okay. Here we need add this one because we need access uh, to our uh, XML object. Okay. And here we need add root. Okay. 
Uh, I don't need any more. I delete it. Okay. Here, uh, something point uh, is about this class. Uh, first, I will show you if I add binding, you can see the source uh, cannot recognize our binding. Why? Because of this class. It should be inner class. And then Okay, oh sorry, that's the wrong place. I should binding, yeah, here, okay. Binding dot, you can see I have access to all of my object uh, and that XML file. I can use it directly or also, I said before, I can use with apply. I suggest this way is really better way. Okay, just that, uh, and you can use easily in your adapter, in your activity, and also in your fragments. Uh, okay, guys, uh, this tutorial is finished, and if you like this video, uh, please feel free to subscribe and like this video, and please uh, leave comments for me. And um, don't hesitate, if you have any question, please ask me. And uh, thank you for watching this video.